Okay, um, back by popular demand, more chain rule problems. Um, people seem to like these or want to see more of them. So, all right, here we go. Um, so in this one, um, we have x times sine of 1 over x. Then we have the fourth root of this quantity 1 minus 3t squared plus t to the fifth. Okay. Um, the first thing, again, I always do is I just kind of look at the bits individually. Um, I would like the x to be upstairs so I can use the power rule. Likewise, I would like this to be raised to the fourth root, to the fourth power, that is, um, so that I can also use the power rule on that. Okay, so when I look at this, I see an x, and then I see this um, sine of x to the negative 1. This, again, is not a product. The sine is a composition. Sine of um, x to the negative first is what I mean is not a product. Of course, the whole thing is a product. So this will be our f and all of this will be our g and we'll have to use both the product rule because hey we've got a product and when I touch the uh, x to the negative one piece I'm also going to have to use the chain rule on that <clears throat> okay and likewise on the other part the first thing we'll have to use is the chain rule um, the chain rule with the power rule because the power will come out front and then we'll deal with the stuff on the inside. I think we'll have to use the chain rule again. And then also, this, I guess, the sum rule, the fact that we can do them a bit at a time. All right, so let's look at this. So the product rule, remember you take the derivative of one, leave the other alone, put a plus in between, flip-flop. Um, so I'll take the derivative of the x first. The derivative of x is just one. I leave the sine of x to the negative one part alone. I put my plus in between. Now I'll leave the x alone. Okay, so now I have to use the chain rule on the sine part. <clears throat> so the derivative of the outside is cosine. I leave the inside part alone. But then again, we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside part. That's the chain rule part. Um, and we'll get negative x to the negative second. Okay, so make sure you don't multiply this negative x to the negative second by the cosine part, because that is uh, not allowed. So we'll kind of separate it out. And again, notice what we have here. This is our f prime times g plus f. And now all of this stuff is our g prime by the, uh, by the good old chain rule. Okay, and we'll come back and clean that up in a second. Likewise, we had we have to take the derivative of this other stuff, so hopefully I can squeeze it all in there. I think I should be able to. Um, so plus, actually I know I'm going to run out of room in fact. So here's the plus in between. I'm going to stick the plus in between. Um, so I'm going to get rid of the f prime g plus f g prime stuff. Okay, so this is all the first part. Okay, and now let me do the other part. So if I take the derivative of the 1 plus 3t squared plus t to the fifth, all raised to the 1 fourth, the first thing that happens is the 1 fourth will come out front. We'll leave all the inside stuff alone. <coughs> and we have to take 1 away from the exponent. So if you subtract 4 over 4, we'll get to the negative 3 over 4 power. Then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside stuff. So now I'm looking at this stuff. I'm pretending as though the rest of the problem was no longer even there, because I've messed with that part. And I think, how would I take the derivative of this stuff? Well, for the first guy, the 2 would come out front. I would leave the 1 minus 3t inside alone. Then I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which would be just negative 3. OK, so that's the first part. And then I have to add the derivative of t to the fifth, which is 5t to the fourth. And now I just need to make sure, let's see, that I have enough parentheses. I think I almost do. So let me put this all in brackets here. Because, um, again, this is the multiplication rule, so we want to make sure the positive term gets included so that things get distributed out. Um, I don't know, let me try to clean this up a little bit. I don't see a ton to do. Um, so we'll get sine. We can rewrite that as 1 over x. Let's see what happens in the next part. The positive and the negative will make a negative. We would have x, the x squared would go to the denominator, so we would have x over x squared in the denominator. But that's the same thing as 
1 over x. So that'll take care of that stuff. And then we'll be left with cosine of 1 over x. So that'll take care of that part. <clears throat> Plus, we could think about all of this as being over 1. Well, this thing has a negative exponent, so I could write that as 1 over 4. I could write it as um, the fourth root of something cubed, but I'm just going to write it as 1 minus 3t squared plus t to the fifth raised to the positive 3 fourths power. Whew. Okay, so that's all pretty, pretty long here so far. Um, and that's all going to get multiplied by this other stuff, so let me see again if I can't squeeze that in there. Um, let's see, we'll get 2 and negative 3, which is negative 6. Um, if we distribute that to the 1, we'll get negative 6. We'll get negative 6 times negative 3t, that's positive 18t. And then we have plus 5t to the 4th, still chilling out. Um, I would probably put this stuff back on the numerator, and then I would probably call that one a day, okay? So, whew, okay, so I hope this problem made some sense. Um, again, if you need to see some more chain rule problems, let me know. Um, I can try to make them longer and harder and even more miserable or with different types of functions. Um, so, all right, I hope this helps again, and good luck.